Hi everyone, this is Matt. We're continuing our series on the head and neck, and today we're going to take more of a profile perspective of the head and neck. And again, I'd like to thank the authors and publishers of Funktionella Anatomy, Functional Anatomy from Berlin. This was published in 1990, just after the fall of the Berlin Wall. So, and as always, these are paintings. So I will come up nice and close with this, and we will follow through with uh, not all, but many of the different landmarks. Starting with number one, we have the clavicle. Then we go to number two. That is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then number three is the trapezius muscle. Then number four is the pectoralis major. Number five is the deltoid. Number six is the intrahyoid muscle. Number nine is the base of the mandible. Then number 12 is the masseter muscle. Number 13 is the ductus parotidius. Number 14 is the parotid gland. I'll have to back up just a little bit so you can see the number. Just in front of the ear is the parotid gland. Number 15 is the submandibular gland. Number 16 and I'll come back up close for that so you can see it well. That is a dramatic depiction of the left common carotid artery. And number 17, which is a little difficult to see, but that is the yellow area. That is a branch of the cervical plexus. And I'll come back out a little bit. Now I'll come up very close and then we'll go all the way down from top to bottom with the graphic. Incredible detail of all the muscles of the face around the mouth, around the chin, then the muscles that help to control the head, the vasculature, that goes to the brain, the nerves that go from the spine up to the brain, the shoulder girdle, and the chest muscles. So, again, another tremendous presentation of the head and neck. And we will be back with another presentation of the head and neck in our next uh, broadcast. Thank you very much. Bye now.